You can never learn that Christ is all you need until Christ is all you have. I don't know about you, but I really want to learn that. You know, Paul said, he said, I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. I have learned. I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. I firmly believe that we can go through hard things and just come out more ugly (laughs) or more beautiful. And I really want the gold. And I believe the Lord has that. See, I want my internal world to influence my external world and not vice versa. And I have just come face to face with the disappointing reality that I, that hasn't been true about me. But I'm learning and I'm fighting for it. And I think this is how we get a backbone. This is how we get solidified in who we are as sons and daughters of God. When you feel disappointed and frustrated and irritated and angry and scared, let it drive you to his feet. Let it drive you to him where he can really minister to you like no one, nothing can. Let it be the thing that fuels your worship. Don't try to pretend like it's not there. That never helped anybody. I want to remind you of who you are today. There is rain, there's floods. I think more is coming and yet your house is founded on a rock. Keep building with the words of Jesus. Let him have complete and total authority of every part of your life. Let him shake off the things that are not helping you. Let him let him minister to you. Let him say, it's okay. It's okay that you're weak because I'm strong. It's okay that you're not as great as you thought you were because I think you're amazing and I'm going to help you. I'm going to empower you. I'm going to feed you. I'm going to bring you life. Come to me, 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 come to me so that I can give you life and rest. Apart from me, you can do nothing.